Hello everybody, welcome to week 38 of my third pregnancy. I'm trying to keep it down because it's Saturday, we've made it to Saturday, I'm shocked, <laughs> and I'm still pregnant, so um, the whole family is sleeping, they're taking naps, which I should be the one taking naps, <laughs> again, that's alright. Um, so. Yeah, so this week I actually did not think I would make it to this weekend. I'm very, very surprised to still be pregnant based on all of the excitement that we had last weekend. But, um, gosh, it's been really quiet this week, which is like, oh, bummer, wah, wah. I was hoping to, you know, I have, and then I got everybody so excited last weekend. And now I have nothing, nothing to report. <laughs> can't control these things sometimes. Um, but I am 38 weeks and 38 weeks and two days today. And this is when the girls were born. So who knows? Maybe I will end up just going into full on labor on my own. That would be fantastic. Um, the contractions have died down, but I'm not worried about the contractions because um, that means that the baby's head could have popped out from my left hip. And so those would ease, that would ease the contractions. Um, but we have a Wednesday, let's see, Saturday. So we have a Wednesday appointment and I'm, we'll see if we make it, if we make it till that, till the Wednesday. Um, my grandpa's birthday is on Veterans Day, which is in two days. And I was really hoping, this whole pregnancy, hoping to have the baby on his birthday. So I don't know. That's just, this baby's doing whatever it wants. It's obviously in no hurry. And I'm, for 38 and a half weeks almost, I'm pretty comfortable actually. Um, I don't have back pain. I don't have, um, a lot of the pregnancy symptoms I've had. The heartburn has gotten better. The baby is lower. Um, the morning sickness, I figured out what was causing the morning sickness that I was feeling and the vomiting is um, Moose Tracks ice cream. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But we've been going through cartons of that lately. <laughs> and I love it. But I ate it one night and that whole, or afternoon, um, that whole burning, like, acidy feeling came up. And I'm like, oh no, this is what's causing this. So um, I cannot have that until this baby is here. <laughs> Because it doesn't make me feel good. So I guess that's good. I, um, I'm resting. Trying to rest a lot. I have to rest a lot at this stage. I'm just big and I'm knocking people over. My poor family. Just They laugh at me. But they're good sports. But I, my belly, I just forget that it's that big. And um, I'm still knocking them over. Or turning around to grab something. And the belly just closes a drawer. Or dishwasher or whatever. Um, but anyway, it's a lot. So I guess I'm doing pretty good. Um, I've been having a couple nights this week of fantastic sleep, which is ugh, like night and day. We're wrapping up projects. The baby's room is nearly finished. We have um, some old barn wood that we're putting in the room. 115-year-old um, barn wood that we want to, we're making a shelf and a coat rack out of, and we want to lacquer, uh, put a coat of lacquer over it so that I can dust it. Anyway, so that, that's pretty much the only thing that we're um, held up on in the nursery, and then we're like good to go, which is exciting. And I will do a nursery tour on that. I made a um, sign. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys a nursery tour. Josh, I've been figuring, I've been having enough crafts this week to keep me occupied that are time consuming. In fact, I'm getting actually, I'm staying pregnant, so I'm getting a lot more projects done that I just didn't think I'd be able to get done um, that are not it's just time consuming. Nothing that's strenuous or um, stressful. Josh's projects, he's finally gotten to a point, which I'm so happy that he's accepted um, and he's happy with how much he's got he's gotten done and um, so that he can rest before the baby comes too because it's not fun when 
you've been working so hard and you're exhausted going in to have a baby. Um, so I'm happy that he has some downtime. And um, let's see, that's it. I took the girls to get pedicures this morning. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. This was kind of a last ditch or a last, um, not, well, one of my last memories with just the two of them before this baby comes. And I've always wanted to take them for pedicures and it's always been so expensive. I mean, you guys know to take three people in for a pedicure, it can be very costly. And it was. But um, we worked it, I worked, I saved for it, and I am so glad. I don't have any remorse over it. And I'm so glad I made those memories with the girls. It was, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. It was their first pedicures ever. And uh, I got my toes all soft and pretty and polished and ready for the hospital. And they got little flowers put on their toes. So I filmed some of that, and I will be uploading that. I'm not sure when, but in the next couple days to a week or so. Um, I have a lot of videos that I'm going to be uploading if the baby doesn't come yet. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad I had that that chance with them. And uh, it's not going to be the last time, but it's the last time with just the two of them. And um, they're kind of, I think the girls are kind of in that. Is the baby ever going to come? Which is what I'm wondering too. But I don't think they realize how fast this baby will come and how fast their life will change. They're excited. But um, reality I don't think is really... I try to tell them that um, you know the baby could be here in just a matter of days. But then the days go by and the baby's not here. And so they're like... They're kind of confused. <laughs> but um, anyway... Not much to report, change-wise, if I stay away from chocolate moose tracks, I'm good, and um, just my water, I'm, I'm stopping eating, No, I don't eat or drink water no later than 6 o'clock at night, so that I can um, digest everything before I go to bed, and uh, it was neat, last night we were watching a movie, and the girls, which we haven't done in forever, it was so nice, the, we were all cuddled on our, on our couch, and Zoe had her hand, had her head. She was snuggling with me, and she had her head on my belly. And the baby kicked, and her head went whoop. <laughs> she was just her eyes got huge, like oh my gosh, what was that? And that was such a neat moment. Um, but yeah, we're just we feel every day that goes by we feel more and more ready for this baby to come especially I mean a shelf and a coat rack in the nursery I can deal with that um, <laughs> but yeah so 30 week 38 feels like a normal week surprisingly I I have a few contractions here and there but not pain they have to get my midwife has told me that, you know, you can have more than seven in an hour, but they have to be painful labor, real painful labor contractions for me to go to the hospital. So we're w just kind of waiting on those contractions and praying that they'll start up and I'll go into labor on my own. Um, my midwife doesn't want me to go past 40 weeks just because I guess they don't recommend that. And um, I'm not sure exactly. We haven't really had a, a full on discussion about it yet, but... I hope I don't go past 40 weeks, and <clears throat> so I don't even want to be talking about an induction date, but I know on Wednesday that will probably, um, we'll probably have to address that if I still, if the baby is still on the inside, we'll probably have to pick a date or a time frame and, and start thinking about getting induced. Um, because today is November 9th, and I am due the 21st. So we have a little bit of time. But anyway, that's that. And so talking your ears off, I figure I'll just wrap this up. And if anything exciting happens, um, be sure to subscribe to our channel, because we'll be posting videos um, of us on the way to the hospital, or you know, as soon as we can get to a Wi-Fi, which the hospital has Wi-Fi, we'll be uploading our videos. And, um, because we, it will just be a fun, we're so excited, a fun experience. And we've decided we're going to take the kids to the hospital with us. 
until grandma gets there. Um, so I have secret bags packed for them. They're in the car. And, um, and then we went and bought a toy for them to share yesterday, just Josh and I. So um, we have a lot of things for them for the hospital to keep them busy and occupied and not bored. And hopefully they'll want to like hold the baby instead of playing with all of their goodies that we bought them. Uh, it's it's going to be like Christmas for them. But uh, I'm, I'm so excited. We are so, so excited. Come on, baby. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's that, you guys. That is this week. I plan on seeing you for week 39. If I'm still pregnant, I will update after my Wednesday appointment of next week to tell you everything that's going on and how I'm doing. And um, yeah, just an update. So here is my tummy. These tummy shots are going to go away. There's only like maybe this is it. I don't know. Maybe this is the last tummy shot. But 38 weeks and two days. I feel, I know it probably doesn't look very big, but I'm still knocking people over, so I know that it, it's a good sized belly. But anyway, okay, we'll see you guys next week, maybe.